Okay, on this video, I have decided I will tackle the difficult task of trying to rank our SPL hunters. And this is tough uh, for a number of reasons. One, they're all insanely good. We've got very good players coming in this year. I'm, and I'm very excited for Wowie and Joshi to show me what they can do uh, from the SML as well. Wowie, of course, was in the SPL before, but most recently SML. So I, I'd like to see what his grind, you know, has turned out. And I guess the obvious disclaimer, these rankings can always change. In fact, I'll probably update them once the season starts weekly, like as power rankings, just like up and down based on how everyone does. So, um, you know, nothing set in stone. I'd love for some of these to be proven wrong, but these are just based on what I've seen so far, my expectations. And it is not going to be easy. I mean, look at some of the names on this list. Oh, you got to be kidding me, man. I think that in a world where there's no Emilito, I think votes the best hunter in the world right now. That's nutty, man. Over Cyclone, Spin, and Arkel. I just don't know how true it is. Maybe it's Arkel. It's really tough to say because right now they're all so close, but we don't have anyone who I think stands out the way that maybe Deathwalker would in the solo lane or the way someone like Zero stands out in the mid lane. I mean, I think that it's so close between even the top five, you know, that, it, that it'll be tough to say. I'm just I'm just throwing everyone around right now. Vedium, almost certainly not. But I'm just kind of throwing everyone around right now, trying to figure out where I'd want to put these people. So I know there's a lot of people at home saying, put Barra up at the top. I love Barra, but I don't think he goes there. So let's just go with, I think I am going to go with Arkel at the top right now. I can't. I think it's got to be Vote. I mean, Rival consistently is at the top. Vote well, is not going to lose you lane. He's just that strong. I mean, I like having him up there. Vote, then Arkel, I think, then Cyclone Spin. Yeah, I think this is good. I think we feel good about these three right now. It's not easy at all. Then Ataraxia, Barra, Zapman, Fun Baller. I mean, it's got to be a, a tough list when I have Zapman at sixth. I mean, because Zapman at Worlds last year turned it on. I mean, he put the gas on. Um, and the and super. If we excuse day one super regionals, he might he was the best hunter there. Uh, he was oh my goodness dude he played so well and then even at worlds i mean when he actually went to dreamhack he played well too is it it's crazy how much sound to have him down there barra obviously is a nut and one of the most consistent people in our league man it's so difficult to say maybe i'm giving ataraxia too much credit on this list that's so hard all right let's move wowie up Vedium, Wowie, Joshi. I might even be wrong saying this. Vedium is probably better than Funball. He's back to Vicium this, this year, right? He's not Clout. <laughs> Vicium. <laughs> this year. Vote, Arkel, Cycle, and Spin. Should Cycle and be higher, perhaps? Vote, Cycle, and Spin, Arkel. Ataraxia, Barracuda, Zatman, v Vicium. Funball, Wowie, Joshi. Well, I might be better than Funballer right now. I think Funballer's done me good, but I think after SK, where he's gonna have to show me to earn, you know what I mean? Just like put it, just show it. We can put it a little bit higher. I'm sure he, can, I'm sure he can. I'm sure he's capable. But they were just so bad last year that it's hard to put him up any higher. Joshi played very well in the SML too, but similar to Funball, where he's got to see it done at the highest level. Wowie, um, you know, on the top SML teams or one of the top SML teams in NA at least previous SPL experience. I feel comfortable putting him here. He's been grinding. This is tough, man. Hunter is such a deep pool, and I don't think anyone is as dominant as we've seen them. Because, like, they've been individually dominant, right? There was a point where Zatman was dominant, a point where Barracuda was, was dominant, right? I just don't know if we have anyone who's that right now. So I think this is probably the way the list has to be. Vote number one, rival. The most consistent team across the last two years. Vote doesn't lose your games. Cycle and spin, once considered the best player in the world, and a straight-up hard carry. Maybe had some struggles in spring, but he has absolutely brought it together in summer and fall. Is in the forefront of deciding what gods are good, and paired up with Aurora, he's an absolute nutcase. Arkel, Mr. Consistency, even-keeled. I don't know if there's anyone who plays more consistently well than him, and 
on a Dignitas roster too that at times I think maybe they didn't get along the best behind the scenes. So that is imp- even more impressive considering his performance. Ataraxia, of course, uh, has improved in game. Maybe is it going to jump forward and, and and make some of the aggressive plays as that man would, but he, he's also got a great mind for it. Barracuda, a staple name, been around forever. How do you not want him on your team? You got to take Steven Zappas next, especially with the way Trifecta's been playing lately. V- Vicium, Vedium, Clout, whatever. Uh, one of the best parts of his team, a team that otherwise found little success, always did well in his lane. Wowie, I have high expectations for him in the SPL. I hope he's able to live up to those. Funball, uh, got to shake off a little bit of that SK uh, stank, perhaps. Or at least that season, and then we can start bumping you up higher. And then Joshy, we just got to see you at the highest level, brother. And that's about it. Okay, these are them. I feel good about them. Quote, air quotes, maybe it's hard to feel good. <laughs> Hopefully these all get blown to pieces, right? And 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 Joshy looks like the best dude in the world week three, right? I, 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 nothing would make me happier. Then for one of these two to be up at the top in the middle of uh in the middle of the phase middle of phase one, honestly. So, you know, good luck to all these guys. I hope that they come out and show us some really great stuff. But I'm excited, man. What a good pool of players that we've got.